Welcome back. I'm tracking Hurricane Dorian this morning. We actually have a live look outside. This is over Wilmington, North Carolina, which is an area where this hurricane is expected to reach as we go into later today and into this evening. So this is what it looks like now. Fairly calm. Those winds, the storm surge will definitely start to pick up there again, continuing into the rest of today. And now for the satellite radar showing the location of this hurricane, where the eye of it is right now. So it's about 85, 85 miles south southeast of Charleston, South South Carolina and 190 miles south southwest of Wilmington. Some other details with this hurricane and the impacts. Anywhere from 6 to 15 inches of rain is a possibility over both the Carolinas. Winds from about 75 miles per hour all the way up to 110 miles per hour. Life threatening storm surge still a factor and a tornado warning is in place actually for North Carolina. Taking a look here at the tracking of this storm. So what can we expect even as we head into about five o'clock this evening? You can see it's still right off the coast of South Carolina, but then going into later tonight, early tomorrow morning, there it is passing by Wilmington, North Carolina, and then continues through early tomorrow morning into the afternoon, goes back off the coast. So this is something we're continuing to track right here on Daybreak, but also you can find the latest details on Hurricane Dorian at KSBY.com. Some forecast details for the Central Coast. So we're waking up and starting our morning with some dense fog for the coastal valleys and our coastal regions. Breezy afternoon winds and then cooler conditions expected heading into your weekend. But first, let's take a look here at your current conditions outside. Temperatures right now from the mid 50s to about the mid 60s. Some cloudy conditions and some fog. Other areas already clearing up right now. Winds are calm at the moment. They'll pick up a little bit more, especially along the south coast region. By this afternoon, when things do start to clear up a little bit more, you can still expect some of the cloud cover for parts of our interior portions and then also off the coast here. We definitely will see more sunshine and get those warmer temperatures for your Thursday. And here's that wind forecast. So we're really calm this morning. I just showed you those current conditions heading into this afternoon. You'll notice those sustaining winds, some areas getting closer to 15 miles per hour, so slightly up from yesterday. However, those wind gusts for some of our inland valley communities, even for our coastal valleys like San Luis Obispo, those wind gusts could reach close to about 20 miles per hour this afternoon through early this evening. And if we're talking about your about your upper levels, we still have this ridge that's actually over the four corners, but monsoon moisture produced some light rain overnight actually for the central coast. And for this weekend, a northwestern upper level trough will produce low temperatures. So it's going to kind of move in. You can see it right here by Sunday, and that's going to push this upper high or this high pressure out of the area. And that's going to allow for cooler temperatures, especially for those interior valleys. And you can actually see that cool down right here at the bottom of your screen, even for Paso. We're expecting to be back in the 80s by Saturday and Sunday. But for today, it's still pretty warm out there. Triple digits for Paso, still around the 80s for San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara, cooling down just a little bit for Los Alamos, closer to those upper 80s today. In the five cities region, from the upper 60s to the mid 70s, right around those mid 90s between Shandon and California Valley. But as you can see, triple digits for San Miguel and Atascadero, and temperatures in the 60s along the North Coast. I'll send it back to you.